Hello there everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to an all new Farming Simulator 19. Looks like Giants have released their newest addition to the series in Farming Simulator 19 and I'm loving it so far. I think Giants have outdone themselves and uh, they did a fantastic job. Everything I've seen and worked on so far in this game I really enjoy doing. When you drive the tractors and the combines the driving takes a little bit to get used to. You can adjust those settings but I actually like the setup and I'm kind of getting used to it now so what I thought I'd do today guys is I'm going to roll out some of the big guns. I'm going to introduce you to some of the big equipment that's uh, available with the game right now. See who's making a return to the game and see what ones are new to the show. So let's take a look guys. Okay first up we have the Case Quad Track. What's a farming simulator without the Case Quad Track? This is the biggest tractor in the game coming in at 692 horsepower. Biggest tractor in the game so far. It also has articulated steering. You can see that it has that joint in the middle where it turns. Some people like that, some people don't. Of course, we're going to be testing that out on the biggest seeder, the Vanderstead Seedhawk 980, coming in at 25.6 meters or 84 feet. Biggest seeder in the game being pulled by the biggest tractor in the game. Now, of course, this seeder was part of the Big Bud DLC over in Farming Simulator 17. You get it free this time. Yeah, this thing's a monster. You need, you need lots of room to be able to move or maneuver this around your map. Seeing that it's two separate pieces. But once you get it going, boy, you really get those fields done quick. Alright, I always love this tractor. This is the New Holland T8 435 with tracks, 435 horsepower. This is how you bought it over in 2015, as is in the shop. Now I just take the same tractor and I put the tracks on to give you that option. This thing's all kinds of powerful and it just looks fantastic. I'm going to be hooking up to these Pottinger mower attachments and testing it out that way. Pretty good way of cutting grass using this setup. I love all the little things they added to this too, like the birds flying away on the field and stuff. Even when you pass by big shrubs, they actually move when you pass through them. I find even the grass looks better, everything looks better. Everything's a little step up. See the shrubs moving? It doesn't cut them down, but they actually move when you pass by them. Okay, now we got a monster sprayer here. This is called the Hardy Rubicon 9000. Coming in at 48.5 meter work width. Huge work width on this. This thing is just a little monster. This is new to the game. really cool on the inside too. I'll actually start unfolding it here and you can start see it starting to uh, take shape. It's unfolding there. Let's take an exterior view. Like I said, 48.5 meter work width. It's humongous. You can also adjust the spraying arms on this by holding in the left mouse button and dragging it up and down. You can get that closer or further away from the field. It depends how hilly the field is you're on. See the spray coming out behind the tires too? I thought that was pretty neat. The graphics are unbelievable. Looks way better. But yeah, you'll see a close up of the spray. It actually sprays where the tires ran over the field. 
pretty neat idea. Never heard of the brand name Hardy before. This thing's a little monster. Okay, next up we got the John Deere. 8R series. This is the 8400R at 450 horsepower. This thing's a little monster too. Love it. And we're going to be testing this out on the biggest cultivator in the game. This is the FlexiCol ST82 cultivator coming in at 24 meters. It's the biggest cultivator in the vanilla version. And the old John Deere here has no problem pulling that. So glad to see that John Deere is an addition they made this year. People wanted it for so long and we finally got it guys. I also have to say the dirt looks a lot better as it's building up on your equipment. Looks more realistic. I like how the tractors bounce around a little more on the fields as well too now. She like bounces around in the cab. Everything's moving. Check that out. Nice little shot there. Okay, we got our first semi here. This is the Lizard Roadrunner coming in at 620 horsepower. This is the big, biggest semi you have to start off in the vanilla version. I took it in purple. We're also attached to this really cool Wilson uh, Animal Transport here. I'm going to look on inside, you can see the cows I have in here. I like how they're on different levels. Like I said, the animal transport is capable of holding 12 cows, 36 pigs, or 38 sheep. Now we get the second biggest harvester in the game. This is the Agco Fent Harvester, coming in at 647 horsepower, has a capacity of 17,100 liters. Like I said, it's. I think it holds more than the biggest harvester in the game. But the header's a little smaller, and I think it has a few less horsepower than the CR1090. Look at the swath coming out the back. Doesn't that look awesome? Harvesting uh, sub, or, uh, soybean there. You can see the birds fly away. I really like that addition. You'll notice too when you fast forward time guys, you can see the clouds move rolling across the sky, the sun and the moon actually cross across the sky. Really, really nice improvements that they've made. Definitely a jump in the graphics. If I have one downside, I just hate that they cap it at 60 frames a second, but I mean, what can you do? I thought I'd get a little nighttime harvesting in here too, show you how cool it looks like all lit up at night. You can even see the reflection of the red lights in the back in the swath. That looks so cool. Alright, so I figured I'd uh, drop some animals off at the animal pen so you guys can see what the animals look like. I didn't do all the animals, I just did the cows here. Gonna stop the music here for a little bit so you can get some of the uh, actual sounds from in the game. So we got 12 cows here we're gonna drop off. So I don't know if there's an easier way to do this but I just double click on each of them and they go in. You gotta buy your cows individually it looks like this time around. You actually pay an individual price. And you can take different color cows too. You can take like white ones or spotted ones, black ones. And there they are. Graphics look a little bit better than uh, FS17. Cows look a little bit more realistic. Very nice. Okay, next up we got the big boy coming out here. The New Holland CR1090 makes a return at 650 horsepower in 14,500 liter capacity. This 
far as I'm concerned, they always got to keep this harvested. This is this is the big boy bunch. Love the New Holland equipment. I always did. So some of you may find the steering a little bit weird to get used to. You can adjust that so it's the same as Farming Simulator 17, but I quite like it. It feels a little bit more realistic to me. So Swath is going to come out the back. I'm going to convert that over to straw. The straw looks really realistic too. It's piled high. Got a nice texture to it. Looks great there in the early morning sun. I like how there's a haze across everything. Many, many improvements in this version. Okay, next up we have our second biggest semi. This is the Lizard Hulk coming in at 550 horsepower. Has a long chassis with three axles in the back. Got this really cool Wilson trailer here too. It has two hoppers in the back and you actually unload this from the bottom. I don't believe this tips. It has two hoppers on the bottom that have to uh, it be, gets emptied that way. Like a big funnel. Get a look at the inside here. I'm going to pull it pull around and empty the CR1090. You can see the two bins inside. And yeah, there's little compartments in there and it empties from the bottom. So I took that uh, lizard in blue. Looks pretty good. So yeah, there are individual hoppers on the back. Really nice looking trailer too. I got it in the stainless steel. As well as the animal transport. Okay, here's another little beast. This is the Massey Ferguson 8737, coming in at 400 horsepower. Always like adding this to my maps. Beautiful looking tractor. I'm going to test it out doing a little square baling with the uh, Coon Squale Square Baler. I do believe this was part of the Coon DLC that came out in Farming Simulator 17. And it looks like we get a free version this time around. Unfortunately, I didn't notice a uh, square baler that was made by New Holland. I noticed it was a round one there, so they may have switched up the group here a little bit. But this thing just works great anyway. It looks great too, especially attached to the Massey Ferguson there. Throw my beacons on. Beacons look a little bit different from uh, 17 as well. They look better. Look how high that straw is. Yeah, I took the massive groups and the wide tires too. Here it's all lit up. It's pretty good. New Holland passing by. Okay, on to this little beast. The Fent 1000 series makes a return. This is the Fent 1050. This thing is all kinds of powerful at 517 horsepower. Of course, I got it in the duels. We're going to attach to the biggest loading wagon in the game. They switch this up a bit. This one is new to the show, but it works great and it holds quite a bit. But look at the Fent. Those 1050s just look so powerful. I always got to get them with the duels on it. Look at that thing. I like how you can change the color of the weights now. Since we're picking up some straw, we might as well put some bedding down for the cows. Very nice. There you go, girls. Alright, on to the Scorpion King. This is the Pont Scorpion King makes from 1 to 8 meter length cuts on your logs. Now, Call me crazy, but it seems like they dumbed down this a little bit. Now, before, you used to be able to control the upper part of the arm and the lower part of the arm separately. Now, it's kind of together in one motion. Now, if you use the Scorpion King on this, you'll know what I mean. It may make it a little bit easier for people that have problem with forestry, but it seems a little different to me, and it'll take some getting used to. But yeah, when you move the arm, basically the two points move at the same time with the same motion. Instead of individually. The upper part needs to move independently from the bottom. But now it moves together. Get a different cutting sound. 
One thing I really like is mostly all the buttons are the same as 17. You don't have to change anything. So pretty much everything is set up the same way that was. The shop is quite different. You have to get used to the shop. There you have it, guys. That was a rundown of all the biggest equipment in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. Guys, there's all kinds more mod reviews coming up, so just hold in there. We're going to be starting up an all-new Let's Play on this map as well. So, if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day, and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you want to help contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, guys, until next time, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.